Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, so um, to that circle, sorry, I'm slightly late. So you hopefully you, you enjoyed the break due to the fact that I was late. Uh, but having said that, I will not bore you with uh, such a point. Uh, first of all, I'm happy once again to take part in that circle, especially uh, bearing in mind that despite the fact that we have corona still ongoing, um, we at least achieved in a solution how to get into contact and how to start a discussion, a proper discussion. So from that perspective, happy to be here. And um, despite the fact that it would be much better to have a personal meeting, I'm happy to address at least some points. Uh, let me start with um, this wonderful word of strategic uh, autonomy, or I should say trustworthy IT and the security of supply running around that. I think everybody is aware with uh, the experience we made during the corona crisis that there is at least a gap in the situation we are currently facing. Means in other words, we were not able to deal with all the challenges due to the fact that we had outsourced that what we do need or what we did need at that time and outsourced into other regions of the world hit by corona as well. So a quite simple reason, pandemic, but uh, the effects were extremely clear to everybody of us. So changing now to uh, the topic uh, that we are addressing, uh, if you look at the security situation um, worldwide, I think it is obvious that we do need a certain change. Let me start with an example. If you look at the German Armed Forces, just as, as a simple example, and uh, if you go for how to get the parts you need in order to keep their running systems as running systems, you will identify it doesn't make any sense to think about changing into a direction that this kind of trustworthy IT, at the end of the day, the source is available for us, will be able to get fixed. It will be impossible to bring it back to Europe. What is a pity, to be honest. So we have to think about how to get a grip on the situation we are currently facing. So we have outsourced a lot of things. What we have to do now is bringing it at least back. Now the discussion will start what to do. Should we do that in Germany? Should we do that in Europe? What could, can we uh, bring to the world? Despite the fact that we do need at least a certain amount of availability in our hands means in our coordinating hands, not only in our buying hands. Having said that, if we do not do that, it will be a major mistake from my perspective for the German Armed Forces, for Germany, and for Europe as well. Strong words, so let me try to give you an overview what at the end of the day I'm going for. If you follow my words, at the end of the day, we should come to a point we do need to identify our respective competence, describe all this regulation, the regulatory framework, and share knowledge. For sure, I'm, I'm a realist. I do know that this is not really simple especially talking about trustworthy IT, talking about the environment we do need for respective security reasons inside a country, a nation. Uh, it is not really simple to share knowledge, the last word I stressed, but we have to do so. Why do we have to do so? If you look at the prices, I think um, it is quite obvious that we cannot do that nationally on our own. We have to bring it to a broader framework. Use scaling effects, use capabilities of engineering we haven't at hand at the right number in Germany and I think in other European countries as well, just to focus on Europe. So at the end of the day, we do need something like a balancing act between expectation of nations, special security purposes focused on the respective nation on the one side. On the other side, just following the lines of reality, that there is an urgent need to do that rather together than to do it alone for the reasons I just mentioned. So international con technology competition, it's necessary to have it. Competition is a good word. 
What we have to bring in is, and I would like to bring that in close cohesion with our key words on, on key technology, we want to be a player in the field. What we do not want to have is all the things solely in our hands. If we follow that line, if we can succeed in setting the strategic framework that we can do that do together in Europe, then we are in the right world. Yes, once again, I'm a realist. I'm quite convinced that uh, the devil lies in details, always. So a strategic approach is a starter. What we then have to do is bring together our wishes, expectations, requirements on the governmental side, the capabilities of industry and the ability of industry to push forward what they haven't got at hand currently because they sourced it out, and then to find a way of collaboration and cooperation that works properly and allows us to have a certain security of supply, security of, at the end of the day, security of data we are using and security that we are able to deal even if whatever kind of situation might be a pandemic, might be security reason worldwide, are forcing us to bring to bear the own capabilities and keep the systems we are running in a good shape. And once again, that's not only focusing on military goods, that's focusing on everything what is running about use of IT. And I think my, my um, partner from the Ministry of Interior uh, will highlight or will run into the same direction without having known his words by now. I'm fully convinced that at the end of the day, we are in line with that, what I do expect. So let me sum it up. The risk of attackers, just as an example, introducing our vulnerability into supply chain is not new. It is well known, but mitigation is considerably difficult sometimes, especially if you do not have technology at your hand. So for the Bundeswehr and the resilience of Germany's economy and society, the sovereign access to trustworthy IT is an important, I should say, better indispensable foundation. Aspects uh, like integrity, cyber and information security, reliability, sustainability, and not to forget that energy efficiency certainly play a key role and must be consistently taken into account in the development of new technologies for our Bundeswehr, for Germany, for Europe. We cannot do that alone. We have to do it in close cooperation. That's the only appropriate option to deal with that. So having said that, I'm now looking forward to get a next statement and especially then looking forward to have a discussion on that topic. One of the most pivotal topics we like to discuss and what we have to do in the near future is to let that discussion leading to a situation we are able to deal rather than just talking through. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to have a quite nice debate on that. Thanks.